Hello everyone, this is Terry Honeycutt with My Photo Borders. I have a new design I want to go over with you guys. This is the basketball game day design we came up with. It's like the other game day designs we've been releasing, so I just want to go through the tutorial real quick and just show you the um, ins and outs of this one. So basically to start off with, uh, we do have the three uh, text layers at the top. Just double click on the T's to um, highlight the text and update it. Uh, down here we have a text box color to change the um, color of the text box just double click in the uh, right lower corner here and this will bring up the color picker for you so and as far as the stroke there is a stroke color uh, right now I have it set to a, a dark gray so you can change it as well as you see and that will update the stroke for you so let's go ahead and get started um, with the uh, basketball features and how to update the logos and things like that. So we have left basketball, right basketball. And once again, these are set up as smart objects. So right here, if you look in the lower right corner of the smart object, you're gonna double click here. What it's gonna do is open up the, the file for the logo. So let's say you wanna replace that logo. I have one open here, so I'm gonna grab this Vikings logo bring it over drop it and then we can go ahead and hide the other logo then if it comes in big or small just rescale accordingly i'm gonna bring it down a little bit in there i'm gonna we'll save it and we'll just leave it open in case we need to move it around i do a control s here to save it real quick and then it'll update on our design there you go so it looks pretty good another thing you can do is um change the color of the balls if you want as well. So for example, let's say this Vikings ball, we want, I don't know, purple looking ball. You can see here, you can change it. And then let's say, for example, on the Tigers, let's go maybe with a black basketball. There you go. So that gives you an option to change the uh, colors of the balls as well. And then the uh, background option, there is a glow color back here. If you want to, um, you know, play around with that, you can, you know, update the glow. So we just leave it just a normal blue like you see in most stadiums. All right, so let's say you want to make a yard sign. Uh, so technically right now the canvas is set up for 24 by 16, which is a nice uh, poster size, print size. But let's say you want to do a yard sign, which is typically 18 by 24. What you can do is come up here and say canvas size, just change the height to 18. And what that's going to do is going to leave you a little blank space at the top. So just come down to the uh, background layer. Um, click on it. I'm going to just do a control T to transform it. And I'll just bring this top portion up a little bit right there. There you go. So I just basically scaled it up so that we lose some of the dead space we had. And now you have a 18 by 24, which is perfect for doing a yard sign as well. So... Um, that's pretty much it uh, as far as the um, the layout and how everything works. Um, it's pretty easy to follow. So if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to shoot me an email or um, message me on Facebook. Thank you very much and have a great day.